What's up, brodies? Welcome back to another video on the Danny TV channel. And I want to give a big thanks to all the people that showed love this whole last year, bro. From January all the way to December, man. You guys have liked it up, subscribed to me, DM me, message, commented, and I appreciate every one of you guys. You know, I want my comments to be more like a forum. I don't want you guys arguing none of that stupid stuff. I want you guys to comment whenever you guys have a question because I always read every single thing, bro. And sometimes I even ask other people just to, re you know, respond to you and give you the best answer possible because I really want to help you guys. And if you guys have any questions, bro, feel free to ask. Don't bother to be scared, bro. Just comment or even DM me if you are a bit nervous you know i will respond to you guys now guys i will be talking about the seven best things that this car has gone through this whole year bro i've been so proud of the things that i've done bro the mistakes that i've made because it's made me learn it's helped other people learn and especially you know we got the car looking super dope under this secluded garage you know so first things first bro i'm gonna be talking about the wheels now the wheels are most definitely my best cop Reason why is because I've been wanting these wheels since late model restoration meet that they had back in July of 2019. And bruh, I found these for a steal. Now you guys know me. I only caught my stuff from Offer Up, Craigslist, and Facebook Marketplace. If it's any from places like LMR or American Muscle, it's because I really want it. Now these wheels I caught for 400 bucks, bro. The only thing wrong is this chip right here. And that actually happened after some tire shop messed up, bro. I was so mad. And these wheels, bruh like super dope got the skinnies in the front the rears are thick over here they're 275 50 by 15s by the way the front i forget but i will leave a description down below of all my videos and a description so you guys can learn more about my wheel setup now let's get to the other side over here and we can see oh i don't know if you guys can see that well but Man, this, this wheel setup is probably my favorite. And I know some of you guys like my bullet setup, but to me, I think the SVEs are probably the best thing that I cough and murdered out. Like, oof, it looks deadly. Now let's get to the second. All right, bro, so secondly is most definitely this cow hood. Now you guys have followed my journey when it came to the V6 hood, bro. That V6 hood, bro, was a big journey. Uh, you know, first time me working with body work, painting, horrible job i did a disgusting job by the way however i learned from my mistakes i did my best and i can show to you guys and i'm not scared to show my failures because you guys shouldn't be afraid to talk about your failures as well because i really want to show you guys you know my trials and errors now eventually i got the cow hood amazing bro i believe it's two to two and a half inches i really don't know i need to measure it but it just looks super immaculate and i could not believe i found it at my sister's neighborhood and I will leave a link down in the description of all my videos again so you guys can learn the stories and get a deeper understanding. I also got these dope hood pins. Look at that. Super dope, man. This cow hood. If you can see it from the side. God, I, I just can't stop looking at this car ever since I got here. I gotta take some dope photos. You guys will definitely see that at my Instagram at Danny the 2 v which you guys should check out because I just posted some clean ass photos of my Mustang. But let's get to that third part. So thirdly are my painted calipers. I had orange first, then I painted these red and I did a 30 minute video about a detailed way on how to do it, you know, with all the supplies that you need that you can find at home and how to, you know, protect your paint when painting because you really don't want to overspray on your paint it's super hard to take off now i did red and i asked i want to ask you guys you know you guys are my subscribers you guys like watching my videos so i'm gonna change the color of my calipers however i want you guys to let me know what colors i should do now i do like green i do like blue but i'm open to suggestions maybe yellow orange or maybe a lighter orange so you guys let me know of what color i should do and maybe i'll do a little video about it in even more detail on the rear since i didn't paint the rear ones but these came out really dope people were messaging me thanking me about how you know dope theirs came out and i still forgot to put clear coat on mine but this is just an easier way to do it in quicker ways so it can come off quicker that way you know clear coat is a bit tough to take off and then obviously you know the many many paint coats that i did so painted calipers most definitely one of the cool things that i did this year all right guys so fourthly is going to be this whole intake system so i have the trick pull plan on the dragon 75 millimeter throttle body 
a Ram Air JLT intake and also you know shout out to my girlfriend for this JLT air filter and the bonnet that comes with it uh, I got that for Christmas shout out to her this whole system bro has helped me so much now a lot of I know a lot of people clown about you know colder intakes they don't get that much horsepower it's a waste of money nah bro if you have a really thick intake if you have a really good air filter and you upgrade your plenum and your throttle body to something like 75 millimeter or even bigger you're gonna feel that power difference your car's gonna breathe better and you get those cool whooshy noises when you're going top speed now this does help me at the track i need something to cool down so this heat wrap really does help a lot guys my car gets really hot especially with the stall now it condenses a lot of heat in there so i need something you know to cool it down shout out to the cow hood too you know for helping it cool down as well but this intake has helped me so much so i really do recommend if you're going to get an intake get something that's worth it get a really thick one that way you don't have to cop so many intakes throughout the you know journey of your car but this right here man is top notch one of the best things that i've ran on my car real quick guys i forgot to mention I know I told you guys I installed these Steeda underdrive pulleys. If you guys have any questions or know a homie who is having some problems installing these Steeda underdrive pulleys, please let me know. I know it's a pain in the butt to find information and I do not know why I didn't record this, bro. Like I, I really did this with my homie Sam, so shout out to him for helping me out. But if you guys need any information or any help, let me know. All right guys, so something that I definitely have to talk about is this stall and the shift kit. Now the stall and the shift kit is probably the best modification when it comes to performance that I've done to the car yet. Second comes gears, but this right here tops it all off, man. It just sounds so amazing. Let me just roll down the windows a little bit. It's a bit cold, bro. It's so cold. I can't feel my fingertips. I honestly cannot feel these things, bro. So I think I'm touching it. All right, let's, let's give it a little rev. Oh yes, bro. Most definitely changes the high. Oh, hold on now. God damn, bruh. Give a man a chance. Bro, let me get this, bro. You calm down right now. You tripping. Damn. Almost threw the GoPro at him. But all right, back to what I was saying before I was really almost uh, destroyed. God damn, hold up. All right, but no, most definitely the stall and the shift kit, bro, is so much fun, so much power added onto this new wedge. It just feels different, man. You feel that? torque just explode when you're coming off a line and you guys have seen my new zero to 60 you guys have seen me do pulls on the highway you definitely see how this thing has changed the car and by the way there is something that people have been asking me to do and i'm going to do in this video real quick for y'all is playing with this ratchet shifter so we're in drive right now we're around 35 miles per hour so let me downshift it and let me let me let y'all hear let me shut up real quick Get to the crib in that garage because before your boy turns into a snow cone real quick all right guys something i don't mention a lot is this rear seat delete that i copped from ebay now this is a really dope thing to do it's easy weight reduction people really don't sit in the rear seats anyway so i mean you just take them out it's little space so i mean nobody's gonna sit back here and the dude that I got it from was, you know, a person who loved Mustangs. And again, I will leave everything down in the description. You can go check it out on eBay. He makes things for SN95s, um, I believe S550s, S S197s, and also the new wedges. And this, man, it's really nice. Check it out. And it matches the carpet of my car. It's really good. And I do a detailed video about how to remove your rear seats. Now you don't have to cop this. It's just something really sleek and it makes it look complete. Let me show you the back of it. And this is the back of the rear seat. And as you can see, man, he really did an outstanding job. Put his little logo back there. And also do not have uh, a spare. It's right there. I should really put it in the car, bro, because sometimes I be driving, I'm like, bro, do I have a flat? And sometimes, bro, I might need it. But right now, I'm on race car mode. Cannot have it, bro. Gotta have, you know, matter of fact, this out here is weight reduction. So that's out of there. But, man, really dope. Re Hold on, not all this weight reduction. All this really nice, man. I really like the rear seat delete. And let me get to my last thing. All right, buddy, so we're over here at the rear of the car, and I'm going to show you the last thing. And maybe actually a combination, as you can see all of it right here. It's going to be the rear fin, the side skirt, and right here, bro, a video that I did as well, the LED side markers. Being a murdered out car, bro, it's kind of difficult to have some things that just really pops 
the car, man. It makes it look visible at night. People can really see it. it. Sucks at car shows when I park and I can't even find my own damn car. This right here just makes it go crazy, bro. I love this LED side marker that I got from Stang Lights. Again, everything down in the description. Now, being said, now that I have this, I need to get that third brake light over there, bro. And also maybe LED tail lights. So it's gonna be a project. I have so many things planned for 2021. Thank you guys for everything y'all showed so much support. And I got so many things planned, bro. Still gotta go to the track, still gotta test out this stall. And let me get to my last point, really. All right, bro, so finally, thank you guys for watching my video. I really do appreciate everybody who gave a like, everybody who commented, anybody who DM me throughout this whole journey, this whole year. I really do appreciate it, man. It's funny how I started this whole experience in my garage and you know I'm beginning it again in 2021 in my garage talking about my car looking completely different and just for that bro I'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon I don't know yet what I'm gonna do or what I'm gonna give away but it's gonna be for you guys it's gonna be something fun and before I go let me give this car a little rev so you guys can hear it now I haven't done one in so long bro watch me flip out a piston